Hey everybody and welcome to Diplomacy is Not an Option, a different kind of horde survival game that's currently in early access and coming out later this year under 1.0 with a massive campaign. Um, they were nice enough to send over a code for me to check this one out, and I'm excited to uh, kind of check it out. I mean, I've had this in, I've kind of had this on my radar for a little bit, and Never really checked it out, but with my current obsession with things like They Are Billions and Cataclysmo, which are both also Horde Survival uh, RTS games. So I figured it was probably a good time as any to check this out. So, yeah, let's begin. So we're going to run through the tutorial today, and then we'll see where time leads us, and we may start the campaign. Complete all the tasks to end tutorial. So the first thing we need to do is move the camera. This is going to be so difficult, dude. Um, there you go. Scroll the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Hold the mouse wheel to rotate the camera. Select the town hall. To control your troops, you need to highlight them. Select several swordsmen or archers by pressing L and B. Oh, yeah. There we go. Under attack, let RMB to order selected swordsmen to attack these jerks right over here. There's only two of them, so we're gonna just obliterate them. What I say? Press Alt to display the health bars. Every day, your citizens and troops consume food. To avoid famine, you're going to need food production. Berry Picker's House will do. Build the Berry Picker's House. Food. Berry Picker's House. Can we rotate? Yes, we can. We're going to put it... Uh, let's put it right... Here. We've got some friends that are going over there to build the, bear, the Berry Keeper's House. Or the Berry Picker's House. If it's the Berry Keeper's House, then they don't let us have any berries. Fisherman's Hut provides your settlement with food, too. However, fish is a finite, non-replenishable resource. When there are no schools of fish left in the body of water, fishermen stop food production. Put it right here. You need wood for construction to get it. Go to a lumber mill. So we need a lumber mill, which is in resource production. Lumber mill. Let's put it up here in this clearing. Fifty health that it's got to get through. For some buildings like Lumber Mill, you can set and adjust working radius. We're going to replace the flag. Change the working radius for three tiles or more. They are attacking our citizens. It seems someone died. Bodies of your troops and citizens lying around the settlement will spread disease. Someone has buried the dead somewhere. It's between the grave digger's house and a cemetery. That was just unfortunate for them. The tutorial just smited them. I don't want to get rid of the thing, so we're going to put this behind the castle. So the gravedigger's house has been done. Every morning, new people come to your settlement if there's room for them. Build a couple of houses.
Got a couple of houses being built. Those will take shape here pretty quickly. Then we can move on. So there's our second house. You guys can do what you're doing. Holds five residents. The more builder's houses you have, the faster you will finish construction works. Moreover, there are two builders at the town hall. We need a builder's house, which is in city development. Right here. We'll put it in the same kind of vicinity as everything. Actually, you probably can go right here. Give them a little lakeside view. Avoid building side by side, especially for those buildings that require a worker. Leave at least one tile of free space for your workers to access the buildings. You can also turn on auto repair. There we go. Research. Open the research window and start any available research. Whoa. There you go. A disease has begun to spread. To deal with it, build a hospital. That is under this one. Hospital. Put it down here. The person that's sick is... Is building the hospital. And diplomacy is not an option, the enemy will attack you and wave. In addition, your settlement is surrounded by enemy camps. Unless you have to repel several attacking, usually you have to repel several attacking waves to win. You can see on the mini map where the nearest wave of enemies will come from. Need to raise your military strength to deal with a superior enemy force. Build barracks and hire archers in it. I feel like with the tutorial there is literally no rhyme or reason to where I'm placing these things. And I, I hate it, but it's, it's a tutorial, it's not my settlement. So, I'll get over it. That's kind of how I feel. I'll get over it. So there we go, we have a barracks. We need to build five Research archers. Complete. So there you go. We're going to build the five archers real quick. Biggest thing has been getting used to the UI. The thing, the, the item in the UI kind of in a weird setup. Need to build walls and wooden tower and or wooden gates. Wood to be produced. There we 
There you go. We'll put a tower on either side of this once we have the wood to do so. Huh? There. Okay, I can do army formations. Sure. Put them right there. Bring our archers over here. Put them behind there. Okay. There you go. We'll put the other one right here. Still missing 19 wood. We'll get there in time. Maybe speed up time a little bit. We're at 21, so we're almost there. Used for what? Used for spellcasting. Ooh, okay. I guess we'll learn about that in due time. Really? You have one job to get me one more piece of wood. And you didn't. Hey, thank you. Other tower can get right here. Oh, yeah. huh? We're going to put three archers up here. And three on this one here in a minute. Oh, yeah. Hold up to nine, I think. There. Place five archers on tower, wall, or gate. You can also place them on the wall, okay. Huh? We're going above and beyond. Oh, We're yeah. going to place six. You can also use magic. Without an obelisk, you can cast only summon spell. Cast the summon spell. Forces are approaching. Here comes the attacking wave. Kill all the enemies. I'm the vengeful shadow. Huh? Royal. Here comes trouble. Make it double. We're going to lose him eventually, so let's just send him in. I don't even need to do any work. That was the easiest war ever. Victory! Hooray! Oh, we did it! We did this tutorial. So there's challenges, there's sandbox, there's endless, there's campaign. So the story campaign is in development. Currently only two missions are playable. The full release of the story campaign arrives once diplomacy is not an option for leaves, leaves early access. Apart from the campaign preview, the following modes are ready to play. We have all of that. We also have Endless Mode, which was uh, Challenge Mode, it's, uh, seven challenges. Okay. There's Sandbox Mode as well. So there's a lot to do. Uh, we'll be coming back here in a little bit for the campaign, but for now, that's going to do it for this episode of Diplomacy is not an option. Make sure to drop a like on it, subscribe for your notification, and I'll see you next time for more.